of the young ones. They're the ones that were born this last year. I think we had eight born this last year, um, which was really exciting. That is so Oh, I know. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, they're fantastic. And I never really noticed until I started working here um, the pattern on the t like on the back, on the very top of them. It's almost like a like a rib pattern. Yeah, it's really very cool. Um, anybody know what they camouflage with? Zebras? Grass? Rocks? Maybe? Yeah, you got two. Wildcats watcher? No, you're wildcats watcher. What do you, do you know what zebras camouflage with? What? Like skunks. They could camouflage with skunks if skunks were around. Um, there is a, uh, a wild crat that, that talks about the zebra's camouflage. It's very interesting because they don't really camouflage with environment. They more camouflage with each other to kind of confuse a predator. It's called dazzle camouflage. Um, and it's a way to kind of confuse a predator to not be able to choose one. Yeah. Well, yeah one I forgot that they just run around and then it confuses Yeah. Exactly. But for both of you, yeah. They can run around and it confuses a predator. Um, they kind of can't tell where one ends and the other one begins. That's exactly what it is. Um, it's called dazzle camouflage. A lot of fish have dazzle camouflage as well. Um, so that's kind of the theory behind the zebra striping pattern because it definitely does not blend in with anything in their habitat.